Hello everybody, I'm Jess Burton. Welcome to Alumni Field on the campus of Salem State University for today's men's lacrosse game. A couple minutes late getting going. Right now there's 12 and a half minutes left in the first period. Four 15 minute periods and this is the home opener for the Vikings against the College of Mount St. Mary's Dolphins. Mount St. Mary's scores right there to make it one nothing. They've had a good start to this game. This is their season opener. The Vikings came in 2-0. And the Dolphins had their first game postponed. And they are feeling good that they are on the board early. They got a good shot right off the jump. Mustafa Defe won the first draw of the game. He's in there again for the Dolphins. And they got a good shot on their first Dolphins possession. goal, score number 26, Renee Alamo. Assisted by number 34, Isaac Parsons. The Vikings had a good possession of their own, uh, but the Dolphins strike first here, and Renee Alamo is credited with the goal. Isaac Parsons with the assist. I think they have that backwards, but we'll check that out afterwards. Dolphins looking to attack again here. We'll swing it around the perimeter. That's off the side of the net and picked up by Ryan Cohen. He's the freshman goalie for the Vikings this season. He's 2-0 from Bedford, Mass. Played at Bedford High School last season. He has it here. He picks towards the sideline over to Jack Seward Daly. Jack loses it. It's picked up by the Dolphins with a full head of steam. A bouncing shot goes by the net. Adrian Guillermo, long stick middle senior. That was the shooter. The ball settles with Ryan Jean Ferens. Back up top, Jacob Coffin. Savion Williams. Now look. Chai Dunlap gets into the lane, fires, and it's saved by Cohen. Cohen up against Mark Lergerard on the other end. Larger, excuse me. Larger Rouge is a sophomore from goalie from Yonkers, New York. And he picks it up for the first time here this afternoon. On a short shot, there's contact as the shot was taken. Slowed the shot up a bit, and the Vikings knock it away from the Dolphins and take it back here as we're going to hit the 10 minute point in the first quarter. Five minutes have gone by. The Dolphins lead at 1 0. Vikings have had a high scoring start to their season, their 2 0 start. They beat MCLA 18 6 and just picked up a win over Anna Maria holding on late in that one 14 13. Beat the Amcats. Both those games on the road. Again, this is the home opener, and this is whistled by the goal by Tim Eddings. And we will keep an eye on Eddings. He's a grad student that transferred over from Eastern Nazarene. 
There's a goal, the first one on alumni field this season for the Vikings is scored by Connor Vitanz, and he was the next player we were going to get to on our players to watch. He's a freshman from Gloucester, and the two of them have been balling so far through the first two games. They are the two leading scorers on the team, and Vitanz adds his total and continues his outstanding start to his freshman season. Here for Coach Steve Dr Driscoll and the Vikings. <laughs> Viking goal scored by number four, Connor Vatans. So Vatans and Eddins are both strong offensive players, and they're adding a big time boost already to the Vikings. Just two games in, and can't wait to see how the season unfolds. It looks like they have a, a new tandem that is going to be a force to be reckoned with here in white and orange. Teams are going to have to take notice right away. And it's a freshman and a grad student, too, that are doing it, bookending the roster in age, and leading the roster and scoring together. And a long pass up to the Tans, and he's knocked for the sideline. The Vikings ball was hit by Walker Moore. The Vikings have the Viking horn on the sides of their helmets now. Looking like the Minnesota Vikings, but it's a little more straight. Going horizontally than the Vikings football team. That one kind of turns upwards much more on the tail end, but it's cool this year, the change in helmet. It adds a little bit more style to the uniform. We've got a whistle here, it's gonna be offside against the Dolphins. That's a turnover. A 1-1 game, Let's see if the Vikings can turn it into anything. This is Cam Collins. He's a transfer from Kaiser University. Vikings roster littered with transfers this year, and they all should add some a boost in their own way. What Coach Steve Driscoll thinks a lot of it being offensively, but they all bring a little bit something different to the field, and should be an exciting season for the Vikings. They're always one of the better teams, if not the best, in the Mascot Conference. And of course, off to a great start. 2-0 start so far. That shot was taken by Peyton Cabral. He's another freshman that we're expecting big things from. He's from Lancaster, Mass. There's a shot from point blank by Cam Smith at the feet of Lugerage. goal for the Dolphins credited to Alamo. The Tans has tied it. This is Eddins. Works that big body down to about 15 yards out. I'll spin it. Kyle Tomorrow knocked off the ball. Trying to get there first. Now it's still loose and picked up for a moment by Vatanz, but knocked away. He sends it middle, and the shot clock's going to expire. Caught just outside the circle, and a big hit by Collins. Jars the ball loose. Picked up by Eddins. He shoots low, bounces past the net, and out of bounds. Vikings will restart. Cam Smith picks it up. Number five, deep in the far corner. Vikings bring a player up off the bench. It's Peyton Cabral. He picks up the roller. Over to Bernardi. Liam Bernardi, one of the 
More veteran players on the team. A junior from Medford. It's Cabral. Defender. Whacking away at him. Savion Williams defending toughly. Williams down in that wide stance. Great defense by number seven for the Dolphins. Here's Glenn, excuse me, Vitans working his defender again. Has it knocked loose. Picked up by Eddings. Back out to Vitans. Tomorrow from out behind the goal, he scores! Kyle tomorrow with the second goal today, and it's a 2-1 lead for the Vikings. Face-off win, they get it quickly down. Viking goal, score by number 99, Kyle Tamaro. Assisted by number four, Connor Batanz. And he will rest behind the net. Waiting for something from his teammates out in front. He's pressured by Glenn Tondone. And he throws it away. This is Coleman Ballweg as he gets going here. A lot of subs filter in and out on the far side of the field. Ballweg goes all the way across the field in a straight line, not going anywhere north to south, and has the ball knocked away in front of the Dolphins bench. He just ran a long way for no reason. Don't want to turn that upfield at some point. But he was unable to. Dolphins defense swarming as he approached the sideline. And the Dolphins commit a penalty. So a power play here. For the Vikings. Tomorrow rips one. Saved by Loser Rouge. Restart from behind the net. Plenty of time on the shot clock. That's a high shot. Goes by wide and out. Dolphins ball. Cochran calling for the long pass, goes over his stick. Picked up by Ton Doan. He gets by Cochran. Gets into the hands of the Tans. play in the first. Now it's the Vikings down a man. But with possession. Eddings tries to work his way through defenders. It's tough to do. Has it knocked away. Picked up by Cochran. He shoots. He scores. Jacob Cochran makes it two to two. Yeah, 
Dolphins goal, score by number five, Jacob Cochran. Savion Williams will track it down. In the hands of Ryan Jean Ferens. Cochran gives it back and then receives it back. He goes down. Knocked away. It's up in the air. Picked up by Dunlap for the Dolphins. Parsons just outside the dotted line. And a timeout called by the head coach from Mount St. Vincent, James Fitzgerald. 2.08 left in the first. Two two game. A competitive first quarter here. The Dolphins given the Vikings more than I think they asked for or expected. Time out, Salem. Again, this is the first game of the season for Mount St. Vincent. They had their first game postponed, so they're coming out excited to just play. Vikings trying to put on a good show in front of a good crowd here for their home opener. We're supposed to have some rain in the forecast, but it's held off for now. It should be light anyway. Let's see what the Dolphins have drawn up here out of the timeout. Who they try to get into the hands of. Gene Ferentz will start it. Picks up top to Cochran and Williams now on the far wing. We'll spin it behind the net to uh, Alamo. Now back up top. On the wing, good change of direction. The shot was blocked. Off the body of Tondo. A huge collision. Knocks the ball loose from Bernardi. Shy Dunlap stepping in to lay the lumber. Picked up by the Dolphins. Parsons controlling. What a hit that was. This is Guillermo looking for space to fire. He finds it and shoots wide. Ryan Cohen laying out, completely outstretched to be the closest to the ball when it went out of bounds. Referee awards him the ball. Cohen will start it himself. Slows down around the 25. Directing some traffic. Sends a long pass. Kyle tomorrow's way. What a catch! Savion Williams just got mossed. Tomorrow kicks it to the wing. He cuts down the lane. He might have had him for a moment. Smith hangs on to it. Brawl, knocked back by Thornhill. The reset. Fixes the elbow pad. Cabral gets by Thornhill this time. Kicks it. High shot. Never had a sh chance from Vatans. Goes into the corner. Vikings will restart with Cam Smith. We're down to 20 seconds left in the first. Batans. Has it knocked away. Picks it back up. Santana defending. 
Low shot saved by Lugerouge. And it goes to the sideline with five seconds exactly left. Vikings going to need a quick strike here to end the quarter. Whistle starts the clock in the hands of Tamaro. Looks out in front. The ball gets through. Matanz couldn't pick it up cleanly. And he didn't get the shot away. First quarter comes to an end. A good pace to it. And we're tied. 2-2. Two -two. Alamo and Cochran, the goal scorers for the visitors. And Matanz and Tamaro for the Vikings. This is the first of five straight home games for the Vikings. Oh, it's Abby O'Connor. Hello. Oh, what up? Season in the month of March. We have St. Vincent here, and then we'll have Mitchell, Regis, Suny Kobelskill, and Husson. And all teams we don't see very often. And then after that, conference play begins basically the rest of the way. Next game is Wednesday night. That'll be against Mitchell. College of Mount St. Mary's up from the Bronx, New York. A lot of the guys on the roster are from New York, but pretty good mix from the entire country. Some guys from Pennsylvania and Texas, North Carolina, Ohio, South Carolina, Virginia. Good to see their program coming together. And they're giving the Vikings all they can handle right now for the first 15 minutes. I think the Vikings had a tougher time with Anna Maria than they thought they were going to have. The 14-13 win in their last game. Had to hold on late. They were up a handful in that one. Anna Maria fought back. However, they had a much easier time with MCLA than their opener. Ready to get going here in the second. That's flipped back like a football hike. Teams have changed direction for the second. Hard defense from Batanz knocks the stick clean out of the hands of Santana. Excuse me, that's Walker Moore, number eight, number nine. Vikings will have it. Cam Collins. Gives Bernardi a little head nod to send him through. Collins wants to work his defender one on one. He'll try it. That's off the shin of Jake Luxoro in the middle. He'll shake that off. That has got to hurt. Still don't know how they're going to rush in that in this sport. Shot by Eddins, bounces by the goal. A minute in here in the second. Vikings controlling possession. This is now Bernardi at the top. Twenty on the shot clock. Vikings bench alert the players out on the field. Vitans works the defender for a second time. Thought about a pass middle. Goes up top instead, and Lujaraz just got the stick up in time to get a piece of that. A blistering shot from Eddings. Six seconds on the shot clock. Well, now they reset it to 60. Now it's off. It is at 60. Fresh minute for the Vikings here. Back in the hand of Collins. Behind the 
that to Smith. Out in front. Return pass goes to Bernardi. He bounces one by the net. Moving screen called against Kyle tomorrow, and that spoils the long possession for the Vikings. They had it for almost a full two minutes to start here in the second. A couple shots, but nothing to show of it. Still tied at two. Cochran trying to break the tie on the other end. Save made by Cohen. Ethan Fajardo. He gives to Alamo. He'll spin it behind the net. Isaac Parsons defended by Ballweg. That's off the side of the net. Cohen takes it out himself, long pass. Eddings tries to climb the ladder, couldn't control cleanly. He contact and takes a whack to try to keep it in bounds. And the referee makes a rule in that it's going to be Mount St. Vincent Ball. A little shot clock for them. A slicing pass over to Cochran. Eddings upset with himself back here at midfield. Cochran defended by Collins. Big size advantage for Cochran. Collins doing his best. Cochran works his way by him and shoots wide. Vikings ball. Cohen quickly out of the net, chasing it down. The closest to it. Vikings work it past midfield quickly. Eddings will slow things up. High pass caught by Cabral. Vitans behind the net to Smith. Back to Vitans. Fools the defender, gets in the lane, shoots high. Shot it from below the waist, trying to lift it up underneath the crossbar, but overshot it. Great move, though. This time's Cabral. Pass a little too hot to handle for Ballweg. Doesn't need to be that hard of a pass when that close. They're able to chase it down and keep possession. Shot clock is under 20. Cabral defended hard, fires, launches it onto the softball field. 11 seconds on the shot clock. We're a little late stopping it. And now it's not running. Now it is. Five to shoot. That hits the post. Matan tried to squeeze it in. Almost did it. Off the post means fresh shot clock. Vikings have control for most of the first five minutes. Despite the chance from Cochran on the other end. They've been controlling time of possession here. They gotta get something out of it. That shot's low and bounces past the net from the tans and like he took a shot. Maybe up the shoulder is shaking out the left arm. Vikings maintain possession. Collins, defender on his right, spins, shakes him, right into the webbing for Luja Rouge. Guillermo with speed. His pass knocked down. He was looking for Parsons, who was far post.
great run by Guillermo and Parsons. Guillermo just couldn't get the pass to him. Parsons might have been able to just dunk that one in. Savion Williams just outside the logo. Dunlap, lots of space. They spin it. Parsons out from behind the net. He exchanges places with Cochran. He has it now. Cochran out from behind the net. Shoots. There's a deflection on the ball. And goes to the sideline. Cochran now defended by Gabe Laprade. Laprade jumps the passing lane. Not a good idea. Cochran catches it and he scores. He makes him pay. You reach, I teach. Cochran second of the game, back to back for him. The Dolphins lead it 3-2. Laprade took a chance with that long stick. Got to make sure you're going to have it. <laughs> the Dolphins led 1-0. It was back-to-back -back for the Dolphins Vikings. Dolphins goal, score number five, the Jacob Cochran. Assisted by number seven, Savion Williams. Draw himself, takes a shot low. Scooped up by Cohen. Out to tomorrow. He has it knocked away. He's quickly now defending. Pushing Alamo towards the sideline. And he'll leave Glenn Tondone to defend Alamo. Tomorrow will mark up on Savion Williams. The ball thrown beneath the goal. Now back out to the player off the bench, Ryan Gene Ferens. Gene Ferens, pushed back by Mullins, gives it up with Parsons. Looks out in front, there was space, picked up off the ground, shot high by Dunlap. Vikings had no one out in front of the goal for a moment there. Luckily the first pass didn't work out. Score. Isaac Parsons rings the bell and makes it four to two. The assist to Alfred Lefty. Three straight for the Finns. The Vikings, a little shell shocked right now. Dolphins goal, scoring number 34, Isaac Parsons, assisted by number 15. Gives it over to Dunlap, Daffa, a big guy out there. He's tough to win draws against. Gene Ferens. Defended by his counterpart too, Ballweg. That pass intended for the cutter, Dunlap. Get past, it got past him and is picked up in the circle by Gene Ferens. Daffa. Goes on the Jets, gives it up, low in the corner. Oh, what a save by Cohen. Denying Gene Ferris on the doorstep. Great pass to Gene Ferens from the corner. Cohen not having it. Ball knocked around. 
from midfield. Out of the bunch comes Savion Williams with speed. Williams shoots wide. Pass the net near side into the corner. Be Dolphins ball. Shot clock will go to 60. Dolphins calling for more players on the field. Now Lamptey joins. That pass knocked down by Collins. Kept on the offensive side of the field by Guillermo. Good awareness. Not to cross the line, but just to tap it forward. It's loose and picked up by Collins. Collins with some space ahead. Pass down low. Denied by Luja Rouge. Smith couldn't slam it home. The referee blows the whistle and deems the Vikings will have it. Timeout, Salem. The Vikings call a timeout with possession after Smith almost scored. Four two with five eighteen left in the half. Rain starting to pick up a little bit. It's definitely a low scoring game from what we expected. Vikings have not scored here in the second. It's tied two to two after the first 15 minutes. Cochran ended the first with the goal and his first goal score of the second quarter and Parsons has added one as well for Mount St. Vincent. trip to Mount St. Vincent from the Bronx down here to Salem for their season opener and trying to get out of here with a win. Up two goals right now and we'll have to defend here. Full 80 seconds on the shot clock for the Vikings. Sends it to the wing to Vatans. Quickly out of his hands and to Smith. Now back to Vatans. And tomorrow, those two will play catch once more. Vatans drops it, allows the defense to come up, but he picks it up quickly, gets by the defender, shoots low, and rolls it past the goal. So Vatans' last couple of attempts have been low. New strategy. He has the first goal of the day for the Vikings. Kyle tomorrow with the other. This is Eddings. They're looking for him to get going. He has nine goals for the first two games. Dolphins have defended well, and this time he throws it away. Right to Fajardo. Fajardo, a ton of speed. About 15 yards out, looking middle. Past its target, Alamo. Picked up by Dunlap. Dunlap tries to pass it back to Fajardo, but Fajardo jumped over the pass. I'm not sure what the miscommunication was there. The Vikings have it. Collins trying to cross midfield. He is shut down. He's got to go the other way. Dante Thornhill said, you're not going to come my way. Behind the net with it is Smith.
point with Bernardi. Matanz. Kicks it out. Collins looking for a lane to shoot. Defended well by Meehan. Half a minute left on the shot clock. Back behind the net with Smith. Tries to shake the defender. The long stick of Luxoro helping him out. Knocked down by Guillermo, picked up by the Vikings. They gotta shoot. Only four seconds to shoot it. And they're not gonna get a shot away. The shot clock that you can see in the far corner gets stuck for seconds at a time. That time it got stuck for about 20 seconds. It said 24 while the Vikings bench was counting down from seven and then all of a sudden it adjusted to four seconds left in the shot clock. The players in the field can't really pay much attention to that shot clock in the corner for too long or they'll get confused. You gotta listen to your team. The one down in the opposite corner on the near side of the field behind the Vikings goal is the one that's working doesn't seem to be getting stuck the players have to read that one but that's tough when you're on the left side of the field the clock's behind you but do credit to the Vikings bench with the awareness to keep an eye on that and let their team know what's going on that's our second shot clock violation both against the Vikings. That's got to be better. Down to two minutes left in the half. Dolphins still lead it 4-2. Looking for more. The pass not a good one. Behind its target. Gets to midfield. Over and back for the Dolphins. And Cam Collins picks it up. Right at the logo. He'll take it himself. Save made by Luja Rouge. He quickly kicks it out to Cochran. Low pass off his shins. Cochran has to run it down and he gets away from the defense. Time out, Dolphins. Field by Mount St. Vincent. A minute 19 left talk about how they want to attack here with possession and probably if the Vikings get it back how to defend the final minute plus and go into halftime with a lead. Luge Rouge has been great in net for them. Raj is a sophomore and Cohen on the other end, a freshman. Young guys in net for both sides. The Vikings are a very, very young team overall. Just two seniors and one grad student on the roster. The grad student is Eddings, number 13, who transferred here from Eastern Naz. Tomorrow and Mike Zaro are the other two seniors, both local guys, Kyle from Saugus and Mike from Peabody. Got some other NEC conference players on the team. Of course, Vatans from Gloucester, Cam Smith from Beverly, Nate Mullins from Marblehead. NEC, well represented. Here for the Vikings, Coach Steve Driscoll knows a lot of the guys. He's been a North Shore guy a long time. He's a good recruiter for these local schools. Driscoll's a fiery, passionate coach. The guys really seem to like playing for him. Balls with Jacob Cochran, and we are under a minute. Cochran going to let the clock run down a bit here. There's 35 seconds on the shot clock. About a 
13, 13 second differential or so. Dunlap, quick pass to Cochran. He scores! Number three, a hat trick for Cochran here in the first half. Two in the quarter, and it's five to two. Dolphins, wow. They have come to play. Mustafa Defe lines himself up for the Dolphins at midfield. Dolphins goal scoreboard number five, Jacob Cochran, assisted by number zero, Shai Douglas. Knocked away, well, Don Tonton, Glenton Doan. Glenton Doan is going to try to be one of the top defenders in the conference this year. Plays like that or why. And then he saw the extra effort, but couldn't get to it, and they score again. Defa sets up Ethan Fajardo, and it's 6-2. Dolphins bench is absolutely rocking. The Vikings are going to have to figure out how to win draws against Daffo. Or it's going to be a long day for them. He just uses his size and pushes the Vikings right off the ball. Dolphins goal is scoring number three, Andrew Lizardo, assisted by number 99, Mustafa Defe. able to push Daffa off the ball. Get the ball rolling into the attacking zone, and that'll bring us to the end of the half. Back-to-back -back goals in the final minute for the Dolphins to extend their lead. The Vikings go scoreless in the second period. And Mount St. Vincent leads it 6-2 at the break. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. They're trying to spoil the home opener for the Vikes and see if the Vikes can get back in it. Thank you. 
All right, welcome back, everybody. Second half, about to get underway between the Vikings and Mount St. Vincent Dolphins. Dolphins lead at 6 2. Definitely not what the Vikings expected. A scoreless second quarter for the Vikings after we were tied 2 2 after the first 15 minutes. And this right here has been a big part of the game and a big reason why the Dolphins are leading, especially in the second. Mustafa Defe, their middleman right here, has controlled the faceoff circle. And again, now the Vikings throw Andrew Ladano out there. A bigger body to go up against Defe, but Defe wins the draw. The teams have switched ends one more time, so the Vikings shooting in front of their own bench. They intercept the pass here, and then saved by Lugerouge. Rouge. Denies Eddins. And in the opening seconds here, Eddins scoreless so far today. Nine goals for the first two games coming into it. Almost had one there. Would have been a huge way to start the third and pick up some momentum for the Vikings. But Luge Rouge once again. side wing with Batans. Keeps his eyes on Cam Smith out in front of the net, trying to work it to him. Smith comes up to lay a screen. Now he picks it up, drops a pass out in front, and another shot clock violation. A long possession, nothing to show for it by the Vikings. It's happened multiple times today. now a minute and a half into the third quarter trailing by four this is Cochran he has three of the six goals tries to work a pass middle it's knocked down they pick it up and get it right back to him he gets rid of it quickly for the Gene Ferens and Cochran gonna set a screen for Gene Ferens it's knocked away from behind by Glenton Doan. He's just so slick. Knock it away. Pick up an extra possession for the Vikings. They're going to need some more defensive plays like that if they're going to come back and win this game. They also need some offense. time since Kyle Tamara scored the second goal for the Vikings back in the first quarter. Cohen, the goalie for the Vikings, got a piece of that crossing pass. It's knocked down. It goes towards the sideline. Savion Williams tracks it down. The Dolphins have good size and good speed. have made this afternoon very difficult for the Vikings. And they have a comfortable 6-2 lead. Again, this is their first game. Their first game was postponed. So maybe a little extra juice finally getting going for these guys. They were supposed to play SUNY Delhi. And that's picked off by Cohen. Great play by the goalie. Using that big stick. Extra wide webbing to snag that one. Vikings turn it over on the sideline. It's loose. Still being knocked around. 
And some hard contact at the end of that between Lindstrom and me. And as they meet face to face, the whistle just prior to that awards the ball to the Dolphins. Shot clock going to be reset to 80 seconds. Parsons looking for his second of the day. Spins has it knocked away. Did get the shot off. Wide short side. Quick trigger there on the restart from Dunlap. Save made by Cohen. Offside. Go the Dolphins. Bit of a frantic third quarter. Whereas the second began with the Vikings really controlling time of possession, but they never scored and throughout the entire quarter, not just through the first two minutes or so when they had the ball to begin the quarter. And now to start this one, back and forth and messy. A goal from either side would probably settle things down a bit. Vikings need it to be them. It's Smith up from behind the net. Pressured. Hit over and over again by Luxoro. Out to Ballweg. He shoots it over to Cabral. And again, this is a mismatch inside. Sides in favor of the visitors. Williams defending Cabral. Cabral tries to get to his shoulder. He shoved as he shoots, and a flag comes out. Cabral is going off. Oh, excuse me, my mistake. Williams is going off. So an advantage here for the Vikings. They've had one earlier in the game. It's been a pretty clean game in terms of, in terms of penalties. Tomorrow at the top of the key. Tomorrow. Backtracks. There's some space. To the wing and Collins. Collins roller. His hands picks it up. Three to shoot. And inspires. Scores. A low shot. Finds the back of the net. Their first goal since the first quarter. Up a man at his 10th goal of the season. His first of the day. A huge one for the Vikes. And that makes it 6-3. But striking first here in the third. Maybe hugely important. Got to win face-offs too. Let's see. They don't definitely win. Viking goal, score number 13, Timothy Eddings. Good for Eddings. Let's get him going. Assisted by number 16, Peyton Cabral. Tough angle for Eddings, too. Looks like it might have hit the side of the net, but somehow squeezed it in there. Pass, Luja Rouge. Offsides again. Coach Fitzgerald for the Dolphins. No idea why that was called. The Vikings have it. Looking for back to back here. More shot clock issues. Reset to 80 once again. It definitely hinders play when you have to stop and talk to the booth over and over again. Hands for the wing, from the wing. Flips it middle. It deflects off of Collins. 
and into the stick of Luzier Rouge. Defe goes across midfield with it. Kaminen sticks his foot in the ground, tries to change direction, gives it up to Dunlap and up top to Cochran. About halfway through quarter number three. Vikings have the only goal of the quarter. They trail by three. Cochran trying to get the goal back. He does. Fires it top shelf. What a shot. Rips it past Cohen. A flamethrower from Cochran. His fourth of the game. He is the difference. It's 7 3. Wow. What an impressive player. Dolphins goal, score by number five, Jacob Cochran. Senior from Long Beach, New York. Having a heck of a opening game for this season with four goals. Oh, they just missed. That one goes behind the net. Almost a quick strike from Parsons. He was looking for number two. Vikings can't win a face-off, but they have possession now. They have to turn this into a, to a goal. They got to get one. Dolphins landed the first punch and they've not stopped throwing since. The Tans caught up behind the net, pressured hard by Luxoro, gets knocked down. The Vikings will keep possession. Tomorrow takes off from midfield. They don't find him. Bernardi gathers, picks up speed, fires low, wide of the post, just missed. Bernardi, one of the returning players. The Vikings expect a lot from this season. This is Cam Smith. He's pressured, double teamed. Somehow able to maintain possession amongst all the hitting. Eddings looking for back to back for him. He's got it. His 11th of the season, second of the game, 7-4. What a gift this guy is. Tim Eddings, grad student transferring over here from Eastern Nazarene. One more year. Viking goal, scrub number 13, Timothy Eddings. Looking to chip away. Five minutes left in the third. You can't get it all back at once. But you got to have long possessions, win faceoffs, take care of the ball, and give it to a star player like Tim Eddings. Eddings works the defender, bounces off another, wants a return pass instead. It goes to Lindstrom. Lindstrom drops one. Off the post. Baldwick just missed.
more shot clock issues here. Slow us down for a moment. Get it figured out. <laughs> Batans pushes the defense low. That's what you need to do. You got to compress them. in front of Collins. He made no attempt to catch it. He's trying to block it with his legs and got by him. It's not how you do it. Go to any baseball practice and teach it differently. And he fires this time. Goes wide. After he collected it. Sharp pass to Collins. And he blasted off the body of Lul Giroux. He had no idea it was even coming. He was just standing there. Bounce right off him. Oh, trouble. Eddings over to Bernardi. Lampy is running his way. Oh, look at that. They turn it into a point. Eddings scores. It looked like it could be a broken play, a pickoff going the other way. It's Eddins third. Single-handedly keeping his team in the game and getting his team back in the game. It's 7-5. Oh, the momentum now in favor of the Vikings. But Mustafa Viking goals for number 13, Timothy Eddins. Assisted by number 15, right Liam Bernardi. Stick of Seward Daly on the other end. The Dolphins will try to settle things down here. Defa gets back behind midfield, and that welcomes Savion Williams to the offensive side. Gene Ferens goes away from the net. Parsons comes back our way. Drops it for Cochran. Defended by LaPrade. Gets by LaPrade. Shoots. Passing that into the corner. Off target. Two minutes, 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Way to keep it out, he says. Gene Ferris. Short pass, knocked down off the turf, picked up by Parsons. He fires, caught out in front, and what a goal! Chai Dunlap with the finish. Oh my goodness. How did he get that pass through to him? And Dunlap slams it home, eight to five. What a finish as the shot clock wasn't expiring. Dolphins just seem to be able to match anything that the Vikings do. The lead is back to three. The biggest lead was four for them. Dolphins goal score number zero, Chai Dunlap. Assisted by number 34, Isaac Parsons. Slicing through the defense is Cochran and he scores his fifth of the game. Number five. Scores goal number five for himself. Nine on the board for the Dolphins. 
back to a four goal lead. Vikings have no answer for Cinco. He sliced through him like warm butter. Easy for Cochran. Daffa wins another draw. Dolphins goal scrubbing number five, Jacob Cochran. By assisted Williams. by number 99, Mustafa DeFay. Another face-off win by DeFay that turns into a goal. He's the assist man. He's got a couple, if not a few of them today. A minute left. The Vikings thought they were building momentum. And the Dolphins, doing what Dolphins do, have flipped the script on them. Gene Ferens picks up some speed, fires, falls out of his stick basically, bounces directly into the turf, a long hop behind the net. Parsons will restart, defended by Tom Doan. And an offensive foul called against Parsons. And Cohen gets drilled by Dunlap. And they exchange words. Dunlap. Finishes the conversation. Yes. The, hang on here. I think the goal is going to count, but it's going to be white. But no, they take the goal off the board. They say a foul against Dunlap. Wait, let's see, let's see, let's see. It looks like he put his hands up like in the touchdown form like it's a good goal. It is, it does count. Here's the Vikings final gas here in the third. And that'll bring us to the end of the third period. Wow, what a finish. For the Dolphins, they take their biggest lead of the game. Into the Dolphins goal is score number zero, Chai Dunlap. Three straight from the Dolphins in the final three minutes or so. Two by Dunlap, the fifth of the game by Cochran. It is ten to five at the end of three. What happened there at the end, I believe, was the goal was scored and then either the taunting call afterwards or the foul called afterwards because Dunlap gave... Cohen a little shove, but what a way to finish it by Dunlap. Those two got into it with that hurt, hard hit. They both had exchanged words, and Dunlap gets it right back and finishes. And, of course, he has something else to say after that. The Dolphins, a lot of chatter, but they're backing it up today. 10-5 after three. We'll be back in just a minute. quarter about to get started the teams switch ends for the final time all three goals in that third for the Vikings scored by Eddins he had him out scored 3-1 for a moment and three straight for the Dolphins 10-5 here we go Zeffa lined up against Mullins again the Vikings gone back to Mullins on the faceoff now he gets lower than Deffa. And a lot of sports. Low man wins. Won the face off there. And the Vikings control. Picked up by Eddings. 
Eddings has his stick knocked clean out of his hands. Williams with the play, and Deffoot back in there to pick it up. He overshoots Lugerouge, and the goalie chasing down the ball with Cam Smith, but late to get there. Vikings have it. Lugerouge got to get back in the net. Smith with a quick restart. Fired by Vatans, low. And since Vatan scored in the first, all of his shots seemingly have come from beneath his waist, and he's trying to beat Lugerouge beneath his knees. Might want to just take another chance at going stick side or trying to beat him up high. Because now this technique down low is not working. Back in his hands. The freshman from Gloucester gives it up. A rip. Oh, what a save. Off the body of Lugerouge. A second save. He denies Collins twice. Collins can't believe it. High pass over Lugerouge's stick. Now out in front from behind the net, fire by Bernardi over the crossbar. Great quick passing. Lindstrom found Bernardi out in front. He might have had Luz Rouge beat, but he missed. Short pass from Vitans to Smith. Jake Luxoro, number 19 for the Dolphins has been outstanding defensively today. Bouncing shot. Saves made. Lindstrom the shooter. We played two minutes. About here in the fourth. Dolphins first possession. Swing it up to Alamo, and a timeout will be called by Mount St. Vincent. Timeout, Dolphins. Scoreless fourth so far. Two minutes, six seconds into it. Comfortable, very comfortable lead for the Dolphins. Five goals. They've got the Vikings doubled up. Vikings need a few of them, and they need them quick. Every time they've scored, Seem to pick up momentum in the game. Dolphins have had an answer. Couldn't catch that pass. That's a turnover. That's definitely not what they drew up out of the timeout. Bernard being chased like Pac-Man. Got rid of it. He gives it back to the Dolphins. This is Guillermo. He drops it over to Alamo. Contact up high, flag comes out. Dunlap hangs on to it, now slips on the wet turf. That will bring us to the whistle for the penalty. Dunlap got hit on the top of the head. He's walking off a bit gingerly, might have 
tweaked something there as he fell down. So I'll have a man advantage here for the Dolphins for a minute. Shot from Seward Daly. Cochran launches, he scores! A double hat trick for Cochran. Goal number six. Absolute missile. Wow, what a day for Jacob Cochran. <laughs> Dolphins goal, score number five, Jacob Cochran, assisted by number 26, Renee Alamo. Daffo wins the draw this time against Richard Longo. They have no answer for him. Daffo by the defender shoots just wide and a penalty flag comes out. Penalty's going to go against Ryan Rice for the Vikings. Another minute on the advantage for the Dolphins where they just struck gold moments ago. Dolphins have scored four goals in each of the last two quarters. First to strike here in the fourth. Vikings trail by six. Through their first two games, they have rarely trailed, if at all. Yeah. It bounces right to Cochran. He scores again. They left him all alone. How would you do that? Not sure. No one was guarding him. Everybody had their back to him. The ball bounced right to him. And the only person to beat was Ryan Cohen. And he did it. Stick side. <laughs> Daffle wins the draw again. Quick pass to Parsons, and he has his knocked down. Dolphins goal, score number five, Jacob Cochran, assisted by number zero, Chai Dunlap. Quinton Dolan keeps the stick away from him, able to keep possession across midfield. Contact with that as that shot was taken and Ballweg slow to get up. Working out that left leg. Hit the ten minute mark left of the game. Smith tries to slam it home, puts it right into the stick of Luja Rouge. Smith falling down. Hits me and knotted up to knock him off his spot or the ball away. He gets it to Parsons. Back to me and. Out on the 
Bell tried to spin towards the goal, had it knocked away. Vikings in transition with numbers. Pass out in front, Eddings one timer off the top of the head of Luge Rouge. And Luge Rouge fired up. Making saves in all kinds of ways. Another save. And off the post on the second attempt. The first one from Lindstrom, second from Vatans. Neither can beat Luge Rouge. Eddins will try. He has a hat trick. Tomorrow, carrying through the lane, has it knocked away. Thornhill, challenged as he approaches midfield, still being pushed towards the sideline. Before it goes out of bounds, just flips it over his shoulder. And ahead of the stick of somebody broke off. Here's Glenton Doan. His hardware is left on the field. He heads off. Parsons backtracks. Laprade defending. Eight minutes to play. Dolphins lead by seven. We were tied at two after one. The Vikings are scoreless in the second. 6-2 at halftime. 10-5 after three. Dolphins, specifically Jacob Cochran, have added two more here in the fourth. Napa looked to shoot, had it knocked away, picked up by Dunlap. He fires wide as he takes a tumble. Alamo up top. Quick pass. Parsons across the lane. Push from behind. Dolphins will keep it. Cochran geared up to have his number called off the bench. He's towards midfield. His team towards a goal. Parsons fires high. Restart from the near corner. Alamo chasing defender, pops free. Daffa sends it across. Sewer Daly steps in on the pass to knock it down. Picked up by Cohen. Just holding it. There's got to be more urgency. You're down by seven goals. And after all that, it's an illegal screen. And we don't have 88 on the roster, but that is not a good play coming off the bench. After. You just hang on to the ball for so long, down by seven goals. I'm not sure what the strategy was there. The screen has to be good. The Vikings never really recovered. After the second, or I mean, 
Looked like they were even out of sorts after the first goal by the Dolphins. They did get two back in a row, but once it was tied, they just didn't expect this type of effort, I don't think, from a team they know nothing about. And Mount St. Vincent has come to play today. The Vikings did not. That's goal number 13 of the day. And a wave goodbye to the fans. Rene Alamo with his second. He scored the first of the game. Not sure that'll be the last. But now the Dolphins lead by eight. Dolphins goal scored by number 26, Renee Alamo, assisted by number 15, Alfred Lamptey. Timeout called by Time the out, Dolphins. Dolphins. They are flipping out. They've got an eight point lead, an eight goal lead, 451 left in the game. Vikings look demoralized. Not the effort or the outcome that they expected here in their home opener. They got to readjust and just be better on Wednesday night. They'll drop to two and one here, most likely, barring something absolutely miraculous. And the Dolphins. Going to be 1 0 on the season. Spoiling this day for the Vikes if the rain didn't do it for itself. Seven goals for Jacob Cochran today for the visitors. There has been nobody better out there than him today. Nobody really close. Except maybe lose Rouge in net. It's been outstanding. They don't want to be done. Parsons shot goes wide. Alamo has it knocked away. Jumping shot out behind the net. Goes through the crease to the corner. Four minutes left in the game. Only 15 for the Dolphins to shoot it. Illegal screen, turnover. Knocked out of bounds. Dolphins have it. Done left. Quick change of direction. Near side past the net. Loose. Thornhill and Lindstrom battling it. Goes out of bounds. Lindstrom has it. With speed. Ian Thornhill race the timeline. They both fit at the same time. They will slow up. Now Lindstrom. 
takes it to the top of the key, uses the tomorrow screen. Over to Eddins. Eddins, got to show some urgency. Wants to get back to his right hand. Shoots and that launches out of his stick wrong, up sky high, and over to the benches in the softball field. That's what it looks like when I throw a lacrosse ball. One sport I could never get the hang of. Could catch it, just couldn't throw it. Smith wraps out from behind the net. Fires past it. 2.34 left. Smith once again going to try it. Spins back. And it hasn't knocked away. Shooter, and it's another save by Luz Raj. Ninety seconds left. Alamo couldn't catch it cleanly. He was looking for a hat trick. He had anticipated that shot before he caught it. Smith over the stick of ball wig and Smith gets knocked around trying to pick it back up. Whistle goes against the Dolphins. The Tans tries to scoop it in from behind the net. Unsuccessful try. That shot from Lindstrom, save at the feet of Luge Rouge. Sharp pass to midfield. Mahardo trying to look just outside the goal to Dunlap. He has it knocked away. Number 10 is a layup where the Vikings gets rolled up on by his counterpart, number 10. Vikings ball with 20 seconds left. The parade falls down. Dolphins pick it up. Final 10 seconds. Vikings are going to challenge. Dolphins bench saying to hold it. And that is going to be the game. The Vikings held scoreless in the second quarter and in the fourth quarter. And the Dolphins from the College of Mount St. Vincent in the Bronx, New York, travels a long way down here to Salem to ruin the home opener for the Vikes. 13 to five, the final. One and oh are the Dolphins. Two and one are the Vikings. We'll be back Wednesday night as the Vikings take on the We'll see you then. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
walk on the field to play it. Heads up, Sam. Good game. 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 Good Thank you. 
stage. If you're already too far, don't worry about it. You can just drop it off on Monday.